If you love your bread, here are some insights why you shouldn't eat bread again if you so choose. Okay, let's get into it. Now, grains we know can typically be high in pesticides and herbicides. And one of the big ones that I talk a lot about is glyphosate. And glyphosate, unfortunately, can ruin our gut microbiome. It's not great for our brain health, has been linked to cancer as well. So this is something definitely that you've got to do your due diligence when you are choosing to eat bread to eat some of the healthier grains and maybe go more organic. We also know that grains tend to be higher in deuterium. Now, deuterium is heavy hydrogen. It's something that slows down our mitochondria health. And our mitochondria, of course, are the organelles, which give us a lot of energy, which isn't the best thing when we eat bread or especially too much bread. Now, there are also preservatives found in bread. So this is just something really to look for in your breads and look on the packaging when you are buying store-bought bread. Look for calcium propionate. Now, calcium propionate is something that allows that bread to be shelf-stable. It's not getting moldy. And you ask yourself, okay, how can this be? Because when I make bread myself, it goes bad in a few days and gets hard. Well, that calcium propionate is a chemical that has been linked to digestive issues, often found in store-bought bread. So it's something that really in my house is banned. We're not and we never eat that because I never buy bread that has that ingredient in it. Now, we also have to think about the gluten that's in bread. So a lot of people react and the tight junctions in the gut, so when we talk about leaky gut syndrome, those tight junctions are very sensitive to that gluten and that can open up those tight junctions. Now you can get into that leaky gut syndrome and this can lead to autoimmune disorders, especially if you've got that sensitivity to the gluten as well. We also know that bread can spike our blood glucose levels, so eating bread unfortunately if you are trying to lose weight maybe not the best thing that can run the risk now of leptin resistance and too many carbohydrates and then you get into insulin resistance and metabolic syndrome another reason why bread may not be the best choice in terms of eating a healthy diet so my tips here limit your bread intake and if you can of course bake your own a sourdough bread is always going to be healthier and this is because it's fermented so it actually helps with the microbiome and also eating that bread later in the day and later at the end of a meal is going to be much better than having it you know when you sit down at the restaurant they give you the bread first maybe not the best way to do it because it's going to spike your blood glucose too quickly before you have your proteins and your fats so try to have your bread a little bit later in the meal maybe the last thing in the meal another thing you can do is actually freeze your bread because this will create a resistant starch which is good for your gut microbiome and the health of your digestion as well as for your immune system so in one study it was found that by freezing bread, it also helped to decrease the glycemic index of that bread by freezing it first and even toasting it after freezing it helped to lower that glycemic index. And in one study, it was found that it was lowered by 31% just by doing that freezing process first before eating white bread. So if you are and have been a bread lover for years, I hope I didn't dissuade you totally from eating your bread. However, maybe if you haven't always had organic, you weren't making it yourself, maybe it's time to do that full body detox to get some of that glyphosate and some of those other toxins like the calcium propionate out of your system from eating that bread. So check out my other video, full body detox tips to help you with that. I'll see you there.